Okay, so far uh, we've been able to render the cup and the ground surface, but we haven't incorporated the gumballs into this yet. Now we could use scene import to bring them in again, but this time we're going to do it a little differently. Because they're animated, we're actually going to export them to USD from the geometry level, uh, and then bring those back into here another way. So to do that, uh, let's unpin this. We're going to click on here and go to the object level and double click into gumballs and there we have our network as it was before and if we scrub we see that we've got all our gumballs no problem so we're going to go in and put a usd export node down there we go and we're going to call this um, ball sim and we're going to go slash geo slash and you have the the name there we're going to go to export we're going to go to slash usd and balls sim usd okay so now that we've got that, we will have to make sure we render the full frame range from 172 um, because this is animated, and we're going to save to disk. Thinks about it for a second. It's pretty quick because everything's cached, and there we go. So now we go uh, the back button twice to get takes us back to the stage, and we're going to put down a reference node. And we're going to wire that into the geo merge. So let's put it over here. So we have our three inputs here in the in the same order here. And we're going to go to the file pattern button here, and we're going to choose gumball sim USD. Now we're going to set this path to geo slash source name, and we're going to call. Um, that's going to pick up and you'll see that in here it's called gumball sim uh, in there so it's picking up that name and putting it into geo which is exactly what we want so let's go back down to here and let's just jump over to frame let's say 33 32 33 there we go and so we're bringing the gumballs are coming in you notice how they're rendering with motion blur that's one of the reasons why we export it out as usd is motion blur works more effectively with cached files um, than ones that come in through scene import. If you wrote the scene import in, we'd have to put a, uh, a cache node here in, in LOPS, but because we saved it to disk, we're actually in good shape. So now what we want to do is let's create another quick surface material, and we'll just put that here and feed that into here, and we'll call that gumball mat. And we'll just lower these down just to organize that a little bit. Our ground mats over here. Okay. And then we go to the material linker here. Put the gumball mat over. Open up this geo and gumball sim. And we put that on there. So we can see it's changed a little bit because it's now the gumballs are a little shinier. And so if we want to, uh, we can make some other changes to them. It's picking, remember the gumballs had color, so the point color um, on each of these also comes through and it applies to the material. So instead of them being completely white, they're actually picking up the color from, from below. So let's do uh, under base, let's change the metalness to 0.8, make them super shiny. Uh, and under specular, let's create, set the roughness to point uh three just a little bit there we'll, we'll smooth out those reflections a little bit okay so now we've got this set up so what we want to do is we want to let's play with our lights a little bit so we're going to right click on here we're going to put light mixer and that creates a, a really interesting interface here if we click on the sliders we can take our two lights and drag them over here and we actually get this nice little interface that we can work with. So you can tweak um, 
the intensity of a particular light. Um, and there, you can also solo the light. So you can say, well, what's the contribution of just this light? What's the contribution of this light? And then you can say, well, I'd really like to bump that up a little bit and then see how that affects. So that's um, that's a nice thing there. Oh, let's go back to camera one uh, and let's go shift F1, get rid of some of the that uh, hide some of these uh, light tool options there. So the, the light mixer is probably, we only got two lights, so it's not playing a huge role in there, but in a scene that's a little more complex, the light mixer node would be a little bit of fun uh, to really test out a scene. So now the, what we're going to add here is we're going to go Karma, and we're going to get our Karma render settings and our output ROP, and we're going to plug those in. And this will allow us to render out this sequence uh, as an animation. And so image output, if we wanted to, we could go filter and say, you know what, let's use the NVIDIA denoiser as that part, part of that. So that's an option there. And then we can do things like the output picture. We're going to, let's change that to gumballs $F2. So what that does is say frame with two um, so like 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. Now once we've got that set up here, so we've got that set up, uh, it's point at camera 1. Um, we could bump this up. Let's go 1920 by 1080. And that's all we need here in the render settings. Now we're going to go to the USD render ROP. And this one, we make sure the range is working fine. The render delegate, we want to make sure we set that to XPU. And that will give us what we want. Um, and then we can render to disk. And you can monitor the progress as that goes through, uh, rendering that out uh, using XPU. Okay, so now the rendering is complete. Let's go in and go mplay, uh, load disk files. We're going to go render gumballs load. Let's just resize that. And then we'll just use the scroll mouse to just so we can see more of that. And then we can press play. And there you go. We've got our first uh, rendered sequence uh, that takes all of the, the network that we set up in the Solaris and the different uh, objects and so on and makes them available to, um, to us here in the final rendering. And let's just uh, take that away. So there we go. So there's our network. We have everything all the way down the chain uh, leading out to our final output. Uh, now let's see what happens if we need to make some changes.